nearly 50-year Hollywood career, breaking out in the 1979 big-screen adaptation of Hair before starring as a narcotics cop turned whistleblower in Prince of the City. Detective Daniel Cello, Special Investigating Unit, Narcotics Division. In the early 2000s, he found a new generation of fans on the WB show Everwood. I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I love you for it. But at 71, his life was cut short on a Vermont road while riding one of his beloved motorcycles. Motor vehicle accident in front of the long trail. Treat was thrown from his motorcycle after a collision with an SUV who was making a left-hand turn in front of him. Reported car versus motorcycle with injuries. And although he was wearing a helmet, he suffered critical injuries and was pronounced dead just across state lines in an Albany, New York hospital. This was the final video he posted just hours before his death. The scenic shots from his 200-year-old Vermont farm just three miles from where the fatal crash happened. Treat was also an avid pilot, sharing his love of flying with his Broadway co-star John Travolta, who posted his condolences. I'm so sorry, Treat. My thoughts are with you and your family. You will be missed. It was just Richard Gere, myself, Treat Williams, up for most parts. That was John with Kevin Hart on his podcast. Treat's final TV role aired just last month on the season finale of Blue Bloods. Where are we going? I don't know yet, but wherever it is, I want to go loud and fast. Tributes also poured in from Kim Cattrall, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Beverly D'Angelo, and Alec Baldwin. What a tragedy, what a tragedy. My heart goes out to his family. But after all of his acclaim and his success in Hollywood, his favorite role was being a husband to his amazing wife, Pam Van Sant, and father to their two children, Gil and Ellie. Treat's family released a statement. We are shocked and greatly bereaved at this time. Treat was full of love for his family, for his life, and for his craft. Mm -hmm.